What's up guys? So we're about to go into Whole Foods and go through a nice grocery run of some essentials that I enjoy for my typical day in the week of eating. So let's go, Nina. Oh, don't want to lock the keys in the car. Okay. Let's go on this journey. Follow me. So Whole Foods is very common for a lot of us to get access to. So that's why I'm choosing Whole Foods. My, one of my favorites is natural grocers though. It's a lot better produce there. Um, if you can support local, support organic and local from farmers and people doing it right. But if you don't have access to that, places like Whole Foods are great options out there. So let's get into it now. Yeah, Fayetteville, baby. Let's do it. Got all the goods. So Nina, what should we get? What are we thinking? So I gotta be honest, I'm a big fan of bok choy. Lately I've been just chowing on a bok choy. One of the biggest things you can do for your gut health and microbiome is constantly getting variations of different plants because they all contain different fibers that can feed different uh, microbiota within your gut. So the more variety, typically the better. Now there's many variables that come into play. Variety doesn't necessarily mean a healthier microbiome, but it can support your overall immunity. Where to get anything, it'd be some bok choy, be a little bit of celery, chop that up, put it with some uh, sardine salad. Instead of tuna salad, I'll have sardines for that. Uh, we'll swing around here. I'm a big fan of raw carrots. So getting some raw carrots, I eat you know one to two, five days a week or so. So that's really good for binding to excess estrogen. So that can be really helpful. Special fiber in that. Broccoli go to. And uh, you know, if you want to get a little spicy and have some fun times on the toilet, some peppers, oh yeah. I love avocado. That's a great source of monounsaturated fat. I almost have an avocado every single day. So that's a great way to go. Arugula is a must loaded up in nitric oxide and nitrates that can help out with overall blood flow. So if you're having a good night out with your girl, you can take, have a big arugula salad and uh, keep it lighter in the protein so the blood flow downstairs is improved. Let's shift on over to the rest of the vegetables. So, oh, real quick. I'm a big fan of onions, some red onion, especially over yellow because it contains more antioxidants because of the color. So onion's amazing, um, dicing that up, having that throughout the week can feed some good gut bugs. It's really, really good for testosterone. And I'm also a big fan of some squash. Squash is awesome. Uh, cooking that up in a pressure cooker, having that is great. Garlic occasionally, unless you want to have bad pit smell, it does cause that. So I have that occasionally, not too often. Um, okay, we'll swing around here. Okay, so potatoes, I love potatoes, even though they're considered nightshades and everyone freaks out about potatoes. If you pressure cook them or cook them fully, there's never an issue with that. Um, I'm a big fan of sweet potatoes out of all the potato family. Purple sweet potatoes are OG, the Japanese purple. They're loaded up in anthocyanins, which is a great way to improve your overall brain health. Blueberries also have a high amount of anthocyanins. It's a powerful antioxidant. So go for the color, similar to the onion we just talked about. Color is the move. Okay, cool. Love me some bananas. This is a great way to go. You like your bananas? Okay. Bananas, right? Yeah. All right. Apples are strange, right? And the reason they're strange is look at the size of this thing. When in the history in our ancestral, ancestral times have we had an apple this big? They would typically be, you know, around small little crab apples. And over the past 100 years, we've been GMOing them, right? Even though this is organic, or, or actually, it's not organic, so that explains another reason why it's so big. But Honeycrisp, I just stay away from Honeycrisp personally. I really like the taste, but it's just not the move for health. So if I were to get apples, um, Granny Smith is awesome. These ones are also massive. Now they're organic, which is great, but they're massive, right? So I always try to opt for apples that are a little bit smaller in size uh, because they're not as sweet. And the sweetness is awesome, but it's too much sugar, right? So if we can get from Granny Smith's, one of the best that's lower in sugar, and that's a, a go-to in my arsenal. Okay, I love berries as well. Strawberries are phony berries, by the way. They're not real, genuine berries. They grow differently. Um, good to have occasionally, but I'm a big fan of blackberries and raspberries. Um, however, the best of the best is blueberries because of those anthocyanins for the brain. Now, here's the thing. To save some money, a big hack is get frozen and get wild blueberries if you can. Wild blueberries are more nutrient-dense than regular, but frozen is cheaper. So about every day I get, a, not every day, but every day I have a, a bowl of it 
but every week I buy a big bag of wild blueberries. And then I thaw them out in the sun for a little bit, and then I enjoy them. So that's a good move right there. So we got some cheese. I eat cheese here and there. Some people are a little sensitive to the lactose. You get some good quality cheese. Kerrygold's fairly good. It's about 80%, 90% grass-fed. Uh, the rest of it, they're they're not grass-fed, but it's pretty good quality stuff. The Dubliner is really good. So cheese occasionally is great. Um, it has a lot of vitamin K2, which is great for your brain and other things like that. So Kiwi, I love Kiwi because it's high in melatonin, naturally occurring melatonin. So it's actually really good for sleep. Uh, you can also eat the peel. I know a lot of people are grossed out by this hairy guy, but the peel is actually a really good source of fiber. So I, I recommend eating the whole thing. Organic, of course, a little bit better and scrub that thing down. So I've heard things about this where basically some of the nut butters, the fresh ground, um, can, tend to, can contain more aflatoxins or mold, but you know, here and there having some organic fresh ground almonds is okay. I think it's great. It's a, definitely a better uh, alternative versus some of these other brands out there, which we'll go in the aisle right now and I'll show you. We have got fats and oils before we get into the almonds. So go to just non-negotiables for fats and oils on a day-to-day -day basis. Olive oil, coconut oil, butter or ghee, grass-fed preferably. You can get avocado oil at times, but make sure you get a good brand of avocado oil because a lot of them are junky out there. Uh, like these ones right here, they aren't real genuine avocado oil. It's most likely uh, vegetable oils, unfortunately. Now, if we look at a brand that's well known, so Chosen Foods is the only good brand of uh, avocado oil I recommend. It's pure avocado oil. So make sure you look out for that brand. Otherwise, stay away from most of them. Extra virgin olive oil, always get in a glass bottle that's amber. Look for organic, extra virgin, single source. So it's from one location, not like 20 on the bottle. Um, organic, of course, so it's not sprayed down. And uh, cold press is a big part of it too. So this one looks like a pretty good one. First cold press, product of Italy, 100% organic, extra virgin. Let's see where it's located, if it gives you a specific location. Not sure the exact location where it's grown. Oh, okay, it gives you a region of where it's at. This is a pretty good one right here, pretty solid based on what it looks like. I also like the Bragg one because it does source it from 100% from Greece. This is a good brand. Uh, but most of the time, just keep your eyes sharp because a lot of this stuff is fake. It's really laced in vegetable oils. Pretty sad. What does wheat do to the body? Real quick, real fun, fun fact, but not so fun fact. Wheat is not like it used to be in our ancestral times and during ancient Greece and when we were fermenting it right, it was all organic at the time. Nowadays it's very synthetic and it's been altered genetically many, many times. On top of that, wheat is sprayed down with glyphosate a ton. Glyphosate is a nasty, nasty pesticide that causes microbiome issues and cancer and a bunch of things. So wheat is so genetically altered, it's not like it used to be. And on top of that, it's sprayed down a ton. So it's really hard to find some genuine wheat. Um, so I just don't recommend getting any of the traditional pastas. If you want, you can play around with like for pasta. Uh, perhaps get something that is organic and it's not wheat based. So lentil based can be okay. Some of us are a little sensitive with that. Black beans, things like that. A little bit better, but look for organic if you can. A little bit better for the gut. Okay, got eggs. So this is a unique one, right? Because a lot of the eggs or labels are funny. So when you're getting eggs, look at this. Um, outdoor access right what does that even mean so they were inside they were outside there's no real legitimate understanding of what these are how they were raised right um other ones free range right it looks like it's good it's organic it's free range but free range is a very interesting statement because it actually doesn't mean they were having a good fruitful life outside of nature so some of the best ones that i'm aware of um is this over here vital farms now there's some things coming out about vital farms not being as legit but pasture raised and organic, good things to look out for. Just don't get nut milks, seriously. Nut milks are for soy boys and we're not, not here to be that guy. So stick to raw milk or 100% coconut milk. We got the nut butters. So nut butters are very interesting. Look at some of these brands. Organic, wonderful, raw nut butter. Now if we turn it around, let's see what's in this. Almond oil, great, raw almonds. A little bit better than any anything else out there. Same brand though, very interesting. Non-organic here, same branding. It looks very confusing because you got the organic right there, non-organic. So this is gonna be sprayed in glyphosate, a lot of uh, pesticides. On top of that, it has palm oil, those sneaky bastards. Palm oil added to this with cane sugar, evaporated cane sugar. Like what? So not cool, Marum. 
Aranatha. Okay, and one thing to keep in mind too is just overall, opt for organic with nut butters. Almond butter is better than peanut butter. The reason is peanut butter doesn't offer a whole lot of nutrition. And secondly, it can trigger a little bit more of an inflammatory response versus almonds, which are a little bit more nutrient dense in vitamin E and more. Okay, a lot of us like kefir or kefir, which is a fermented milk, and it can be really good for us. A lot of these, however, even though it's good for the gut, it's also bad for the gut simultaneously because a lot of these have excess sugar in it. Now, this one's a little bit better, right? It's organic, but it doesn't. it's not grass-fed milk. Um, but nine grams of sugar, not as bad. Some of these are a little bit worse because if we look at like the flavored ones, 18 grams of sugar per cup. It's just insane, guys. So be careful about that. To be honest, I would have to look through these a little bit more in depth, but just keep your eye open. The added sugar is a big problem. Okay, we got milk. Now, if you are to get milk, look for raw, get it local, get grass-fed if you can. Some of these are a little bit better. Um, like, I do like this one every once in a while because it's low temp pasteurized, so it's not heated up with high temper, temperature, so it's removing all the enzymes and probiotics. Uh, it's 100% regenerative and grass-fed cows, and it's organic. So a little bit better milk if you do get it from stores like uh, Whole Foods. Big fan of wraps. I know you guys love your uh, tacos and burritos and stuff. We all do, right? Mexican food is bomb. So one thing I will get occasionally is the Siete cassava flour based tortillas with coconut flour, arrowroot, avocado oil, very clean, apple cider vinegar. Way better than flour and corn tortillas, right? Even if it's organic, it contains a lot of expel pressed soybean oil and just things that are not serving you. So it's gonna make you feel bloated, a little bit gross. You should feel pretty good on the Siete. All right, got butter, Kerrygold, or I'm a big fan of Truly, because it's 95% grass fed, which is awesome. Truly's the best. Kerrygold's about 80% grass fed. So I do recommend Truly over that. Butter is really good. I am butyrate, which is good for your gut, uh, and also vitamin K2 and many other things. Healthy fats like stearic acid, so check it out. Personally, I don't get beef uh, or meat. I don't really come to Whole Foods a whole lot, uh, but this is all for the video, of course. I am going to get meat. Sticky to beef is my go-to. Um, now, if we look at all these, there's a lot of different ones. We want to look for 100% grass-fed if possible, regenerative if possible, so that way it's regenerating the soil and they're raised right, and then organic if possible. So for these ones right here, we have, this one looks pretty good. 100% grass fed, it's organic, raised with the antibiotics and growth. Now we don't know if it was regenerative, it doesn't look like it says that. However, this is a good option for, this one has, see this is the tricky one here. It doesn't say anything about grass fed on the front. It says no added growth hormones, great. 100% vegetarian diet, so they were fed with soybean, you know, all the things like that. So not a good one right there necessarily, but even if it is factory farmed and that's all you can afford, go for it. It's still gonna be very nutritious for you. I don't get this stuff ever, but I really want to. So we got like wild spot, cold smoked, wild sockeye salmon. Sockeye salmon is a great one to go when it comes to lower and heavy metals, healthier fats. You can literally just eat this from here, which is awesome. So something like this is a pretty good snack to have just with high protein, healthy fats. Um, or play around with some bacon in the morning, right? I'm a big fan of bacon. A lot of the bacon's nasty. It's loaded up in a ton of random ingredients, right? So a good brand typically is Applegate. Here it is down here. They have Applegate. That's a good brand to usually opt for. Um, a lot of these are turkey bacon. And here's the Applegate organics. What is a shopping trip without some snacks? So let's go into some snacks. So. I don't typically get a whole bunch of snacks personally, but I want to help you guys out for when you have the craving munchies. Good brand right here is Lesser Evil for the most part. Any of them are pretty good because they use healthier fats, they're organic. I don't like corn a whole lot, but that's a fun little snack occasionally. These ones are okay. Now just keep in mind, you may get a little bloated and gross because this is the, the best of the best, but it's organic cassava flour, tapioca salad, so things I wouldn't recommend. Trust me, I'm not recommending this, but it's a nice snack here and there, okay? Um, as we progress, a lot of this is doo-doo, straight doo-doo. Oh, we didn't check into this guy. Siete <coughs> chips are great. Same with the, the wraps, those are good. Uh, cassava flour based, like these guys right here. 
Oh, wait. Do you want to get potato chips, Nina? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to get potato chips. Oh, shoot. These are so good. So, I love Epic. These are the pork rinds. You want to get some pork rinds? Yeah. Yeah, you made a face right there. So, we can do some <laughs> pork good. rinds. Um, they have baked pork rinds. That might be the move instead of fried. So, pork rinds are a great source of overall protein. Uh, you know, pork fat. It can be healthy at times. It's not bad for you. Nothing is, there's no good or bad foods. Keep that in mind. There's just balancing and imbalancing foods. So find that balance. Friend the candy aisle. This, no candy is really good now. <laughs> Smart sweets. These are disgusting. We bought these yesterday just to try them out. And I knew going into it, I was like, I don't want these, right? So we look at this. It's not so smart after all. So we have chicory root fiber, not horrible. Modified potato starch. What the heck is modified potato starch, right? Pectin, uh, not bad. Malic acid. Citric acid. Citric acid can cause a lot of inflammatory response. Stevia, okay. Fruit to vegetable juice for color, okay. Natural flavors, like coconut oil. Some of these ingredients are a okay, but overall it just tastes bad. I don't even. Good. They taste. They're horrible. And uh, most of the ingredients are modified potato starch as the base, so it's going to cause a lot of digestive issues. Not a fan of that. Oh, they have real licorice right here, Nina. I wonder how that is. It's black oh, licorice. But it's wheat flour. Gosh, see, all these things are not the move. So I don't recommend any of this candy, but I do recommend some of the chocolate. But here's the deal. A lot of them canceled. You know why? Because they tend to have high heavy metals in them. So I'm not a huge fan of a lot of chocolate nowadays, unless it's from a good source. Chocolate up here. Now, Alter Ego can be okay at times. Um, they usually have the human brand. That's a pretty good one at times. But a lot of these guys are just high, high, high in these heavy metals. Crazy amounts of arsenic and lead. It's not good. So if we're eating these all the time. It's not a good thing to have. But occasionally, once a month or so, you're fine. Okay. These are a go-to of mine. Wild blueberries. They're smaller, so they have more of those antioxidants in them. Lower sugar. And big bag of this is 9 bucks, And that's going to last you... A week and a half probably and you're just getting healthy nutrition in. if you do a cup of it just about so if you do a cup of a day it's six days worth it's not bad okay we have drinks so why not get a drink while we're here right occasionally it's nice to get a little hydrating little juice or something like that uh am i a big fan of juices sure but i'm also a big fan of fiber and just making smoothies it's a little bit easier and cheaper so what do you want you know you want some hydrating drink mm. uh, it's, it's all good. these look fairly good the thing about a lot of these juices though the problem is you know like this is only six grams of sugar this is a little bit lower in the sugar scale some of these are a little bit higher right like this is 23 grams of sugar because it's a juice, it's just chalk going right into your bloodstream. Unless you're like active right after that, it's okay. But a lot of us are drinking these and we're just sitting down. So if I were to get any of these, I like the Suja one for, you know, six grams of sugar. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, occasionally having these is okay. The B1, a little bit higher in the sugar scale, right? It's going to be 25 grams. So just be very conscious of the sugar, guys. Olipop. I do like the Olipops occasionally. These are pretty good. Uh, now... The reason I like Alway Pop more than most of the sodas out there is we look around, it contains a good amount of fiber, nine grams of fiber, right? And only two grams of sugar. And now if we look around at the actual ingredients, cassava root fiber, cassava is the same thing that was used in Siete, chicory root, inulin, it's good for the gut bugs, artichoke inulin, uh, marshmallow root. So things that are really good for the gut overall, no nasty uh, things when it comes to uh, overall ingredients. Besides the natural caramel flavor, a little sketchy with that, but pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to use some Mountain Valley. This is a good quality water right here. It's in glass, has the amber coating on it. Uh, and it's actually from Arkansas, where we're in right now, which is so cool. So if we look right here, it's in Mountain Valley. It's from Garland County, Arkansas, where we're in right now in Fayetteville. It's not too far from here. So people are drinking this nationwide, and we're in the zone, baby. Okay. I think we got what we wanted. We really just got some snacks, nothing too major, but I had a good time. You have a good time, Nina? I had a great time. Okay. This was fun. So we just grabbed some fundamentals, obviously essentials for our little hike and things. Um, got a ton of fruit in the car, very excited for that. Got a protein packed smoothie later on. 
So we're set up for today, gonna go on a nice hike into uh, Devil's Den here in Arkansas, which is amazing. It's beautiful out today and it's March like 6th or something and it's sunny and 70s, so we're excited about that. But here's a quick rundown on the, the amazing stuff we got going on. So hope you guys enjoyed. To be honest, I was not expecting to get anything, but we saw some stuff. Uh, the main thing here is I hope you got some benefit from all the things we went through. I know there's little, little quote unquote hacks you can take advantage of for your nutrition arsenal when you go shopping at Whole Foods. Uh, yeah, stay healthy, stay well, take care of your gut, your mindset, your muscle. Keep moving forward. I'll see you on the other side.